Mr. Excel podcast is sponsored by Easy Excel. Learn Excel from Mr. Excel podcast episode 1703. Luckily, I can't even spell chloroplath. All right, well, hey, a few weeks ago I showed uh, GeoFlow that new preview for Excel 2013, and someone said, hey, uh, show us the uh, heat maps. All right, so at that time I only showed the column chart, it was the real estate uh, down in Florida. Uh, we'll take a look at the other two types here the bubble chart where every point uh, is represented by the size this is GDP and then the heat map and the question was does it do a chloropleth heat map that's where you color in the entire range of the state with the color and no it does not do that the GeoFlow 2 team knows that this would be cool uh, I probably last saw this back in the days of uh, map info pro uh, very expensive mapping solution so right now geoflow does not do the heat maps uh, where they color in the whole state uh, this data looks a lot better when you have lots of data points sort of like in this uh, real estate data that we did in the uh, last one so let's change this from a column uh, bubble the bubbles just be way too large wouldn't be able to see anything uh, heat map uh, yeah all right well there you go, that's what we have with the heat map. Uh, again, remember this is a uh, project codename GeoFlow. It's just in beta right now. The, the final product will be uh, perhaps a bit different. So does it do chloropleth heat maps? No, nope. no it doesn't. This is uh, what we have. Well, yeah, I want to thank you for stopping by. We'll see you next time for another netcast from Mr. Excel.